Wido. My name is Yui Tachibana. I'm 16 years old in the third year of junior high school. I'm preparing for the high school entrance exam and I'm still studying in my room. Are you serious? That's crazy. So loud. Hey sis, can you be a little more quiet? Huh? What? I can't hear you. What is she, Irie's sister? So gloomy. You guys aren't alike at all. Er, My sister Irie invites her friends over to her room every day and makes a lot of noise. I've always been the complete opposite of my sister. Compared to me who can't say what's on my mind, my sister's the type of person who is cheerful and outspoken. She's sociable, but I don't like her rudeness. My sister's supposed to take the entrance exam for college, but there is no sign that she is even studying. Ah. Uh. Oh, Yui, what happened to your studies? She is so loud I can't concentrate. Could you say something to her, Mom? It's nice to be lively. Why don't you bring your friends over, too? Oh, right. Tell that man to hurry up and make dinner. Uh, my sister is completely influenced by her mom. Because of that, mom is always nice to my sister but treats me harshly. On top of that, she's a stay-at-home wife but doesn't do the housework at all. Then who does it? Oh, Yui. It's almost ready. Just wait a minute. Dad, I'll help you too. That's right, my dad does all the cooking and housework in our house. My dad has always been earnest and really kind, and he's the reason I'm able to manage in this family. He's an ordinary office worker, but he's been especially busy these days. But he does all the housework, and most of all, I love food my dad makes. Today, it's your favorite omelet rice, since you're always studying so hard. Thanks. What's wrong? You don't seem to be in good spirits. This is so loud, I can't concentrate on my studies. I see. I'll talk to her as well. Okay. But thanks for always helping me out. You're getting pretty good at cooking, too. N not really. I'm not as good as you, Dad. Hey, is dinner ready yet? Hurry up! Sorry, it'll be ready soon. I mean, how can Yui stand to be next to a guy like that? You shouldn't use Yui just because she's quiet. Poor girl. I don't mind. Well, well, it's ready now. So let's eat. The two of them don't even have a word of thanks to her dad who does all the housework. On the contrary, they mock him and use him like a fool. Whatever. I ate a lot of snacks, so I'm full. Me too. I'm tired of eating your omelet rice anyway. That's why I changed the seasoning a little bit this time. Huh? Stop acting like a chef. I'd rather eat instant noodles than eat your meals. You don't even make that much money. You need to do the housework properly at the very least. I'm gonna watch a TV show so get the bath ready. Irie, wait a second! What? Yui has exams soon, so you need to be a little more quiet. Huh? Stop acting like a father! What's wrong with hanging out with friends? Come on, Irie, she doesn't even have friends, so don't tease her like that. Oh, you're right. Make sure you wash the dishes. <sighs> oh, Yui! You ate it all! I noticed you changed the seasoning. It was delicious. I'll help clean too. Yui... Thanks a lot. But why doesn't he say anything back after being told that much? One weekend when I was spending such days, the three of us decided to go to my mom's side of the family to visit our grandparents' house. Dad wanted to show up too, but mom said you stay at home and had him stay. My dad comes from a poor single mother. On the other hand, my mother's family is rich and she has a big house and she is always boasting about it. I always felt the hierarchy even as a child. And for the past few years, it's always just the three of us when we go to our grandparents' house. Ivory, why don't you go shopping with Grandma again? Okay, Grandma, I want that brand bag. You, you should just take a walk around the house. I was going to do that anyway. I take a walk around the house as usual. I don't want to be with Mom, and she always talks privately with Grandma leaving me out in the first place. What about Ivory's the tuition? About that. What? I went home that day and all I could think about was that conversation between those two. I wonder if I should tell my dad, but if that causes a fight and they get divorced... Yui, can I talk to you for a second? I yeah This is for you. Wireless earphones, right? I went shopping today, and I bought it on the way home. The clerk told me they're popular among young girls. I thought it could help you concentrate on your studies. Dad... And... You don't have to tell those two you got these from me, okay? What? How come? They'll talk bad about you if they sense me being nice to you, right? Uh, um... Uh, I'm on your side, Dad. My side? Did something happen? 
No, um... But thanks. I'm glad to hear that. Er... Uh, after that, my dad got busier and busier and came home later than usual. Mom and my sister would always go out to eat, saying it was a good opportunity, but I was lonely. I was worried that he would choose work over us. And one day while eating dinner... Hey, I want to go to this private university. Why here? All my friends are going and it doesn't seem like I have to study too much. You can afford it, right? <laughs> Dad? What are you laughing at? Gross, are you crazy? Uh, sorry, sorry. I couldn't possibly afford this kind of tuition, so I couldn't help but laugh. I didn't tell you, but I'm actually in debt. I also quit my job. I can't afford to pay for school. What? If you don't pay, who will? Hey, I didn't hear anything about any debt. What do you take your daughter's life for? I'm sick of working for you guys. From now on, I'm going to work for myself. What? And for Yui. What? Anyways, I'm at my limit. I want a divorce. I'm moving out too. I'll leave custody up to you two. What a bunch of nonsense. Of course they'll choose me. Yeah, who'd want to be with some unemployed guy with debt? Right. But Yui, if you have a problem, you tell me right away, okay? Dad will come help you right away. No. What? See? Even Yui doesn't need you. I don't want to be separated from Dad! I'm going to live with you! Yui, are you crazy? If anything, I can't believe you would go with Mom, sis. Do whatever you want! I don't care if you come crying to me later! Losers, get along with Dad at the rag house. But, but you'll have to pay Iri's tuition! I'm sorry, but I can't. Besides, Iri doesn't study hard and just wants to have fun, right? I don't have money to pay for someone like that. What? She's your daughter. Just pay the tuition or I won't divorce you. Mom, that's enough. Grandma can take care of the tuition, can't she? Er, why don't you just dump this guy and find a new one? I don't even want to look at him anymore. R right. In the end, Mom signed the divorce papers on the day after my sister persuaded her. After that, they told us to get out and cursed us to no end, as if they felt assured relying on Grandma. And a few days later, I packed my bags and moved out with my dad. Yui... Are you really sure about this? Yeah, I'm fine with being poor as long as I'm with you. And I told you, right? I'm on your side. Thanks, but don't worry. I've already found us a new home. And you even have your own room. What? How? Actually, I knew you would come with me. And it's thanks to you that I haven't given up on my dream. Let's go then. And so my dad took me to our home. This is our new house. You can use the second floor as you like. Are you kidding me? Then a few months passed. We didn't tell my mother and sister anything and went on with their busy but happy life. We didn't hear from those two at all, and that was supposed to be the end of it, but... What's wrong, Dad? All you do is look at the calendar. Uh, oh... I was thinking it's almost time for Irie to take the entrance exam. Maybe I should have paid for her tuition a little bit. You're too nice, Dad. What? It's over now, and I wasn't going to tell you, but... I don't want to keep it a secret. Anyway, I'm going to go tell them now, so come with me, Dad. Hey, Yui! And after a few days... Yui, what in the world did you do? Take us to that man! Fine. I knew they would come, but I didn't think they'd come all the way to school. Now I can't wait to see what kind of shack they live in. I'll take your money no matter how poor you are. Here we are. What? what? Are you kidding me? There's no way it could be this big! Yui, I know you want it tough, but you shouldn't lie. No, I'm not lying. Look at the entrance. It says here, Tachibana Western Restaurant. What? Western-style restaurant? Welcome back, Yui. We're all booked up, so can you help- Wait, you guys? You went to Yui school? What do you think you're doing? More importantly, why are you living in a place like this? What about your debt? Didn't you quit your job? Yeah, I quit my old job and I still have debts. But I did it all to open this restaurant. That's right. Dad has always been a good cook, and he's been preparing to fulfill his dream of opening his own restaurant. He quit his job because of the prospect of opening the restaurant, and the debt was a loan from the bank to open it. And after getting divorced, he opened a Western-style restaurant here, which he had longed for, and we're living together in this house. 
By the way, this Tachibana Western style restaurant has been a great success since the first day it opened. Thanks to the help of professional chefs who are acquaintances of my dad's. I was also surprised that my dad had such acquaintances. But thanks to them, the restaurant is now full of reservations every day. The food you two always left out, now there's a waiting list for it. Yui, you were the only one who kept telling me how delicious it was, which gave me confidence. It's all thanks to you. Don't thank me. That's great, honey. I never thought you would open a restaurant. Oh, right. Why don't the four of us live together again? It's not easy without you, after all. I thought your parents were going to help you out. Well, they suddenly cut us off, and they won't tell me why. You guys just made up some lie to harass us, didn't you? And because of that, my college tuition... No, I think it's all Mom's fault. What? Grandma gave you tuition money a long time ago, didn't she? What? That's right. At the time I heard the conversation between my mother and grandmother, that she had already received money for my sister's tuition and entrance exam fees. In other words, my mother wanted to keep the money for herself and take the tuition money from my father to pay for it. So she kept us away from the house and didn't even let dad come over. At the time I kept quiet because I knew that if they got divorced because of this, my mother would take me with her. But after the divorce, watching my father worry about the two of them not knowing anything, I explained the situation directly to my grandparents at that time. My grandparents were furious, which is probably why they cut them off. Oh, my plan! Wait, Mom, what's going on? I thought of getting divorced after receiving tuition money! What? Are you saying it's my fault? Um, can you take this ugly fight somewhere else? You knew all this was going to happen to Dad, which is why you went with him, you sneaky woman! No, I didn't hear any of this, and I went with Dad because I wanted to be with him even if we were to be poor. What? Yes. The only person on my side is Yui, now and forever. Don't ever get involved with us ever again. N no! After that, my mother and sister who were disowned from their parents had no income and were evicted from that house as well. They came to our store several times, but it was those two who said it was too late to come crying to them later. I told them that if they persisted, I would call the police. They are now living a shabby life together in a shabby house. Meanwhile, the Tachibana Western Style Restaurant is still going strong. Since then, I've been helping out the restaurant while going to culinary school. Dad, omelet rice! Okay! The signature dish of this restaurant is the omelet rice that I love so much. After all, Dad's cooking is the best in the world.